Toy Boy. Welcome to Toy Boy Federation. I'm your host, Maximum Crunage, and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Triple H Ultimate Edition figure by Mattel. Let's not dilly dally and get straight to it. One of the things I gotta say is unboxing these things is actually a lot of fun. After unboxing so many elites in a row, you kind of forget just how many things that these Ultimate Editions come with, um, and it's kind of blowing my mind all over again. I'm already digging these additional heads that come with the figure. Um, love the multiple interchangeable hands and the perfect accessories for Triple H: the sledgehammer, the chainmail bottled water of course and his goofy little attitude era um, cabby hat of course this being an ultimate edition it comes with the new upgraded torso here which i'm slowly c coming to appreciate a little bit more this feels a little bit more pliable than the last couple have um, this may be uh, something subjective that i'm experiencing but this this feels really really nice Triple H's actual body type in real life lends itself really well to this kind of action figure configuration because this looks pretty seamless. Like this is the exact kind of physique that works really well with these Ultimate Editions. Some warm bath ready joints. One thing I will say still about this torso is there still isn't, for what you're getting kind of side to side, can't do the ab crunch as ab crunchily as the uh, as the elites, but that's a very kind of minor uh, complaint. I would say that this figure really does feel like an upgrade in general. Let me bring out another Triple H. As you can see, the Ultimate Edition Triple H, this kind of torso gives him more of an elongated look. The other one gives him the more kind of classic, almost He-Man-ish uh, type of body structure. So I think it's pretty subjective as far as what you are going to find appealing. But I would say in this specific case, I do like the more elongated one. It feels a little bit more realistic to me. And of course, uh, a lot of the fun of these guys is switching the uh, the appendages around. Um, so let's go uh, crack it on that. Oof, oh, diggity dang. Head's not feeling like it's coming completely. But luckily our boy Triple H has a nice lustrous head of hair that will conceal the little ball pivot at the top. Got like ring entrance Triple H. We got promo cutting Triple H, aka slip you something Triple H. And of course, it comes with my favorite, a tie. All in all, in my opinion, a really solid figure. I, I would say, um, you know, gonna see what I think about the Finn Balor figure. Um, but as far as the Ultimates go, I would say the Ronda Rousey one is still my favorite. It's a really, really hard to beat figure. Um, but this, I would say, is probably second after that. Um, certainly beating uh, Bret Hart and Ultimate Warrior. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, that's our video. Uh, please stay tuned for the Finn Balor Ultimate Edition figure. In the meantime, feel free to check our other videos out and follow me on Instagram at Toy Boy Federation. Have a great one.